In the breathtaking valley of Hunza, where the towering mountains kiss the clouds and streams sparkle like silver ribbons, there lived a mother Ibex and her mischievous little baby. The baby Ibex, named Nobby, was full of energy and loved exploring the rugged terrain, hopping from rock to rock like a spring. Stay close Nobby, the mother often warned. These mountains can be dangerous. But Nobby would giggle, as much as an Ibex could, and say, don't worry mama, I'm as quick as the wind. One sunny morning, as they grazed on a patch of fresh grass, Nobby decided to race after a butterfly. His little legs leaped and bounded, his tiny horns glinting in the sunlight. His mother, though smiling at his playfulness, kept a watchful eye on him. From a distance, a hunter with sharp eyes spotted the ibexes. What a prize these ibexes will make, he muttered, shouldering his rifle. Quietly, he began stalking them, stepping lightly on the rocks to avoid making noise. The mother ibex sensed something was wrong. She looked up and sniffed the air. Her heart skipped a beat when she caught sight of the hunter in the distance. Nobby, come back. We need to go, she called. But Mama, the butterfly. No time for that. Follow me quickly, she urged. The mother and baby Ibex started climbing higher into the mountains, their hooves expertly gripping the steep rocks. The hunter followed, determined to catch them. Nobby, though young, was incredibly agile and kept up with his mother. Why is that man following us, Mama? he asked, his big eyes wide with worry. He wants to hurt us, Nobby, she replied, her voice firm. But we must stay strong and keep moving. The hunter aimed his rifle. His finger hovered over the trigger. The mother Ibex stopped and shielded Nobby with her body, hoping for a miracle. Just as the hunter steadied his aim, a shadow swept over the mountain. Out of nowhere, a mighty eagle swooped down from the sky. Its sharp talons struck the hunter's hat, and its powerful wings flapped fiercely against his face. The hunter stumbled backward, startled and unbalanced. His rifle fell from his hands, and he tumbled onto the rocky ground. The eagle let out a triumphant cry, circling above as if to ensure the ibexes were safe. Go Nobby! Now's our chance, the mother ibex said, nudging him forward. They leaped gracefully from rock to rock, disappearing into the safety of the higher cliffs. When they reached a hidden meadow far from the hunter's reach, the mother ibex sighed with relief. Nobby, still trembling from the close call, snuggled against her. Mama, that eagle saved us. Do you think it's a hero? he asked. Yes, Nobby, she said, looking up at the sky. God sent that eagle to protect us. We must always be grateful for the blessings we receive. The eagle soared above them one last time before vanishing into the horizon, as if saying goodbye. The mother Ibex bowed her head in thanks, and Nobby gave a little leap of joy. From that day on, Nobby stayed close to his mother, always remembering the brave eagle and the miracle that saved their lives. And so, in the serene valley of Hunza, the Ibex family continued their life, grateful and wiser, while the eagle remained a symbol of courage and kindness.